Hello everyone and welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video we'll talk about something that is the most talked topic these days and that is coronavirus. But we'll talk about coronavirus more related to our field that is dentistry. In this video we'll talk about how coronavirus affects salivary glands. As although it's not frequently seen but it is hypothesized and researched that coronavirus does have some effect on salivary glands. So we'll talk about that in detail. So let's get started. Firstly, talking about some very brief facts about coronavirus, that is there are four types of coronavirus, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. For humans, alpha and beta are the ones that are affecting them. Uh, Previously, MERS and SARS were also a problematic situation for the world health community, which leads to similar epidemics. Coronavirus also belongs to this particular family. Currently, coronavirus is a major global health concern throughout the globe, and it has affected economically, financially, and obviously health-wise as well. A ACE2, which is called as angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor is the main mechanism by which coronavirus affects different organs of the body. We'll talk about that shortly. By now most of us are very much familiar with the different symptoms that the person experiences when one is affected by coronavirus. These three are the most most common ones that is fever which is usually high grade, dyspnea which means shortness of breath, you have trouble breathing and cough which is dry cough that is there is not much mucus that is produced when a person coughs. So cough is mostly dry and it's persistent and it's very bothersome for the patient that is affected by it. Some other symptoms that are not as frequently seen as these three mentioned above are disturbed in smell and taste sensation. Person doesn't feel smell, feel or taste smell properly as when a person does normally. Some patients also suffer diarrhea skin rashes that is known as dermatitis. Now since I have already told you that angiotensin converting 2 receptor is the main mechanism by which coronavirus affects the human, these ACE2 receptors are present in different organs of the body. Mostly they are present in lungs therefore the lungs are severely affected. These receptors are also present in brain, kidney, liver, skin, blood vessels, oral cavity that we will discuss shortly. Also in the nasal cavity therefore there is some disturbance in smell sensation, small intestine ca causing diarrhea and thyroid as well. These are some of the organs that the ACE2 receptors are present. So we can imagine the different symptoms that the coronavirus can present in each individual patient. Now talking about the main mechanism of action by which coronavirus affects different cells of the body this is the main mechanism. Anywhere in the body where ACE2 receptors are present, this entire process will carry out. So starting from the beginning, this is your coronavirus. And you can see these small ball-like structures. These are known as spike proteins. These spike proteins bind to this ACE2 receptor. The spike protein and ACE2 receptor bind together and then this coronavirus is attached to the cell membrane and then it goes inside it. When it goes inside it, this genome is uncoded and this is you can see is genomic RNA and then it is translated and replicated translated and replicated in this Golgi apparatus and then it, it leads to formation of new viruses as these viruses multiply and when they form inside the cell by, via exostosis these viruses are released out of the cell so you can see one virus was attached here and when it gains entry inside the cell more and more viruses are formed and they multiply thereby causing damage to the organ where these coronavirus is present. So you have to remember this that spike proteins present on the coronavirus attaches to the ACE2 receptor anywhere in the body and goes through this entire process of basically leading to virus replication. The virus has to replicate so that it can affect the organ more severely. So this is the entire mechanism of action explained briefly how coronavirus affects any cell of the body. Although very very rarely any patient is seen with salivary glands effect of coronavirus, very rarely any patient is seen presenting with any salivary gland complication when affected by coronavirus. 
the me the me mechanism of action of how the patient will present with uh, coronavirus affecting salivary gland has been hypothesized and researched as well so we'll talk about that the salivary gland is three major salivary glands the parotid gland submandibular gland and sublingual gland in all these three major salivary glands ACE2 angiotensin 2 converting receptor is present so when this receptor is present in the salivary gland we can expect that some kind of action coronavirus can occur over here you have to also keep in mind that the covid-19 or the novel coronavirus has been detected in saliva in good quantity when a patient is affected by the coronavirus therefore sometimes salivary samples can also be collected uh, for a patient with the doubt that he or she might have coronavirus so saliva in saliva covid-19 is present now it is known that these ACE2 receptors are present in the ductal epithelium of the salivary gland because in the salivary gland there are different ducts and the ducts are lined by epithelium and on this epithelium these ACE2 receptors are present so the mechanism action is similar as we have discussed before the virus attacks the salivary glands the spike proteins of the coronavirus binds to the ACE2 receptor and then it leads to increased viral rep replication therefore affecting the uh, organ in this case which is salivary glands now patient may lead to parotitis which is known as inflammation of the parotid gland and acute or chronic sialadenitis sialadenitis basically means inflammation of salivary gland which in, the, in this case can be some mandibular gland and sublingual gland so it basically leads to inflammation of these salivary glands so when a patient of coronavirus has been presenting with signs and symptoms of salivary gland these are some of the symptoms that the patient might experience such as swelling of the parotid gland which can you can see extraorally sometimes swelling of the submandibular gland which can be seen either intraorally or extraorally and sublingual gland of swelling of which can be seen intraorally pain is also associated with it and some patient obviously feels some dis discomfort when there is some abnormality in any of the gland which in this case is salivary glands now firstly if the salivary gland is affected by the coronavirus it starts with acute sialadenitis because it has just started to affect the salivary gland it then leads it may or may not lead to chronic sialadenitis and in this chronic sialadenitis these all things are hypothesized and researched because very few very very few patients have been presenting with salivary gland abnormality when affected with coronavirus so when a patient may lead to chronic sialadenitis it can cause fibrosis hyposecretion which is xerostomia as there is decreased production of saliva and when there is decreased production of saliva the wash effect of the saliva is decreased so there is stagnant saliva in the duct so this stagnation can lead to formation of stones in the salivary gland which can cause these three effects as well and if these three things fibrosis hyposecretion and sialolithiasis is persistent it can lead to infection because the saliva is not secreted properly it, it is stagnant so not neither bacteria nor the saliva is being washed away so it leads to it may lead to infection since very few patients very very few patients have been affected with salivary gland pathology when the patient is initially presenting with coronavirus because the main organ the main system that the coronavirus firstly attacks is the respiratory system because it is through the respiratory system that the coronavirus spreads so firstly it affects the respiratory system and it may or may not affect other organs of the body where ACE2 receptors are present which can be brain salivary glands heart muscle vasculature and other structures mostly these uh, other organs that are affected by coronavirus they are mostly seen in patients who are presenting with coronavirus when they are in this severe form severe cases may mostly present with these other features so currently there is not much patient info that is available to see how the salivary gland is affected but these methods are hypothesized as how this the salivary gland is affected by coronavirus what is the different mechanism how the patient presents with the different clinical signs and symptoms and how you can treat it and how you can 
test the patient whether the patient has coronavirus or not by looking at the salivary samples because it can be used as an adjunct to diagnosing a patient with coronavirus. So I hope this video was useful for you and it might have enhanced your knowledge regarding coronavirus because it is a major global challenge that everyone is facing these days. You have to be careful, you have to stay home and you have to stay safe. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon. So thank you for watching this video.